Hi planning friends, welcome to the first official week in my passion planner. I'm not going to show you guys the bullet journal because I'm so behind with the bullet journal, I can't even tell you. It's causing me lots of stress actually. Um, I am going to show you guys, uh, what am I going to show you? I got another order from Elizabeth Designs, which is here. Um, I'm not going to be using this today, this is going to be for my September setup and I've already taken the samplers out but this is, I don't know if this is the new dashboard but I might trim that off because as much as you know I love Rachel's details, I prefer the picture and if I lift it above my light, hopefully you guys can see that, it's very lovely. Um, so this time because it's back to school I got the school days kit and this one isn't the A5 it is the regular sized one and oh I think I, I've borrowed a sticker from that already and then I got some apples for various school things I'm only going to use those if there's like a sig significant function and probably that one as well because I don't do that much reading. And then I've got the core kit, days and dates, and the half boxes and list boxes. So really, really, really pleased with my little stash. Um, but I'm not gonna be using those yet. As I said, they are for when I start school in September. So hopefully if it ever uploads, you guys will see my monthly setup. It's slightly different now because I looked at the glitter washi that I originally laid down and hated it. So I used some video label stickers and an image that I found on the internet and printed off a load of um, mermaid scales, which I have used to cover up the things that I needed to. And as I've said previously, with all of the lifting and moving and what have you of everything, uh, my stickers are in very much need of glue. Um, but meh, never mind. It's all good. Okay, I still haven't quite worked out what I want to do for these yet. Um, I have got some ideas, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I don't know yet. So, I've already made a very messy job of covering up the bits that I wanted to cover up. I did use a sticker for that, but then I was worried that too much would, too much stickering would do um, nasty things. So I'm gonna use the uh, Make-A-Wish sheet this week. And I did actually get another one, which I'm searching for now on my desk. There is going to be some planners in crime going on as well, if anyone wants to know where that is. There it is. Mm, yeah. Okay, so this was the replacement sheet, so I'm going to use that first. But the first thing I'm going to do is definitely put down some washi. I was toying with the idea of just separating the dates out, but I've made such a mess. So I've actually got an extra week, so what I might do is, because only a few of the stickers haven't worked, I might actually use this for two weeks. So if anyone gets a bit bored, I'm really, really sorry. Sort of. So yeah, I'm going to use the, the long strips of washi along the top, just to I'm gonna turn it out the other way. I'm going to keep that something else so I'm going to put that back down and I'm going to put that on there one of the things I absolutely love about this particular collection because I keep referring to them as kits because they did used to be kits a really really long time ago but not for a long time mm. one of the things that I used to really love that I really love about this collection is just the colours are just beautiful and I like dandelions, they make me happy, they make me happy. Right, 
So I've now got, we've got another sheet of washi here on this other sheet. Now this is, this is the sheet that's okay. And everything is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm going to just use scissors to slice and dice these. Because, yeah. Now I don't mind if sometimes the boxes dip into the other ones. But I do try, I'm going to just turn that around again. But I am going to try to leave the boxes as close to you. Because I don't even know if I'm going to have a today's focus. Because, you know, during the holidays, today's focus, well, during my entire life, I think, my today's focus is always about housework and getting stuff done. And that is going to be no different when I return to teaching in September because during the holidays that was when I would get all the big jobs done that I needed to get done so sorting through various cupboards and purging because that's how I like to tidy if I haven't already mentioned I like to purge my husband just tidies things away I'm one of those people that likes to see where I want to put something think what else I could get rid of out of that space and then fill the space it's hairy, really gross. so here we go that's that's lovely maybe I should have put the washi page too late now okay um I'm gonna put the sticker over the quote which is slightly maybe I'm gonna do Okay, I'm going to put the sunflower next to the, so I'm going to put the quote box right up to the edge and then, I probably can get that even closer actually, because I have certainly been making a lot of wishes, because this week, so, mm -mm find somewhere to put this so I'm juggling now um, it's a bit of a running joke in my family when I was younger I would literally finish Christmas and be straight in with what I want for my birthday because you know usually it was if I didn't get it for Christmas I'd quite like it for my birthday please um, which I think all kids do Especially if Christmas and their birthdays are really far apart, like mine. Um, so, the running joke in my family is that I'm not allowed to talk about my birthday until the fourth of all, until the first of August. So, my birthday is never a thing until the beginning of August. I'm allowed to discuss it with my husband. And I have done a little bit. There you go, that's all nice and neat. I like that, that's cute. And I've still got loads of washi left. So, uh, I'm going to put on this week, on this week's focus. I think looks okay. And I'm going to use the green three stars and then on the tall one I don't know what I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet. I should, I don't want it to be a, maybe a remember, remember, 
There we go. Uh, mm. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do remember here, and I'm going to put it to the edge there. See, I'm not. It's been so long since I actually did a planner with kits because I went from using the bullet planner to just a bullet journal. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, I went from the bullet planner to a bullet journal, and all the time I've been like, I'm not sure about this, I don't feel comfortable with this because I need my week laid out. And then when the Hobonichi thing came out, I thought that that might be a way to help me with my planner difficulties. There we go, pop up the back. Um, then we use the So I'm using the deco. I'm hoping that that will be, that looks nice. Right, and then I'm probably going to, yeah, I am going to, that's what I'm saying, probably. I'm going to use this washi and, and then the other one along the other side. The weather has already started turning. It has promised thunderstorms and loads of rain today, so I'm just going to stay in and crack on with anything that I need to do inside. Probably involving lots of editing, probably. Because the three videos that I've been trying to upload for ages are just not playing ball. So, getting a bit stressed with those. Um, okay, so now I'm going to get into the appointments. So, Monday is, so this week, uh, this week I've got lots of things to do and remember. So let's start with my timed appointments as the first thing. And for those I like to use these because if it's within the hour I need to be a bit more uh, concise. So I'm going to put in that was Monday. Monday I had Right, Monday is a time blocking situation, so I'm just going to move on from that. Tuesday, today, um, nothing on the agenda. Some to do's, but they're not going to go on here. Um, and Wednesday, we are back at a slightly different time doing Keris's, um toddler group. Ooh. I have to make my writing really tiny there. Um, and that day I have just found out that I have a an appointment with occupational health to discuss my new job. Whenever you start a teaching post or anything that involves working with other people, like children specifically, they always check that you're healthy and because of my arthritis and because of the way this questionnaire has gone, it's never going to be straightforward. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put in the weekend banner as well. They are lovely. And the K should kind of just pop in between without causing so much stress and damage. Back to Thursday. Chris's mum and dad are over. Any time from three. 
maybe that should be a bigger box. I can use my mild liner to do something else with that. Friday, we have the dentist. The Keris's first trip to the dentist. Technically her second, but she didn't have many teeth before. She's pretty much got all of them now. Uh, Friday, at And we all go together to the dentist, partly for moral support and partly for, um, partly just to get it all out of the way. We've got an event on. Um, let me get some mild liners out, actually. Mm. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right, so from one o'clock until, I don't know when actually, I'll probably say six, we've got um, one of our family members who's incredibly lucky and has got a football scholarship in the States um, and it will be his goodbye and good luck party but we have got to travel to Coventry. Okay, so those are my timed appointments. Not a great deal going on. Um, I could put in everything else, I suppose, that I normally do. I'm not doing sleep anymore because what is the point? And I am going to try and do, so I'm not buying hundreds of thousands of stickers all the time because my husband will have a heart attack. I am going to be doing pen as well. Oh, hello. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. That is just gross. So my mild liner seems to have picked up the print from my passion planner, which has made me sad. Okay, it seems to have gone now. But note to self, don't do that again. Why is it from the ruler? Well, it might have been from the ruler. I take it back, Passion Planner. Um, where's that other ruler gone? I just had a little one. Where's it gone? There it is. Right, let's just run my fingers down the... without burning myself. Okay, let's try that again. Now I definitely, what? Okay, I don't actually know what goes on here. Clearly I need to give my readers a good old wipe with something. But now this has picked up blue from somewhere. Now blue is definitely not a colour on the passion time, so I can only assume it's on my reader. Start keeping baby wipes up here again. Right. Oh, Deary me. Okay, so a very mismatched colour of my me time. Oh my god, that looks horrendous now. I almost want to put stickers over that just to hide it. Um, I'm not going to because that would be ludicrous. Um, let's put this until that will probably go on until then um the dentist is fine the rh appointment is fine and that's all good as well something else that went on and i'm going to need to bust out my colors and crime stickers so i need oreo Uh, so the little one at 9.30 went to Childminder for the day and I went to school for the day. So 
my Vitaline Chemist is colour, which I'm not going to. So she was there until 2.30, and I was at school. I need a school colour. I think it's going to be green. Is it green or is it blue? My uniform is blue, so it's going to have to be another blue. And I was there till pretty much the same time. And then we came home and did housework and stuff. So you're right. So today um, I'm going to be generally running errands. So today is definitely going to be a houseworking errandsy kind of day. So from 10:30. Until yeah, then because that'll be lunch time, and then Karis will be asleep. Fingers crossed. Um, until two. Should have always split that in half. She may well have fallen asleep now. So what I will do is I will do some editing in that slot while the child sleeps. I don't think I've got a sleepy Oreo. Oh, I have got a sleepy Oreo, but it's a big Oreo. But he fits. So that works. And then more housework until the boy gets home. Okay, so that is pretty much my week. There's probably going to be more housework sessions getting in there because whenever it's a nice day I need to try and sort out oh, actually, no, do you know what I'm chatting here um, I always need to sort out washing because when you have a toddler washing is every day my self care in the evening I'm a bit nervous about colouring over the grey block now just in case it was the grey box. I don't think it was. And yeah, tracking my sleep now is not a thing in this. It is going to be in my bullet journal, so I need to do a spread for that. I could do it down here, I suppose. But I don't want to. I can see myself being a one book in here. I don't know if I want to do that though. I don't know. I will have a think. I'm still kind of getting used to this and lots of people use these differently and you know I don't know I don't know how they do what they do. I'm just gonna peel that bit back. Oh no, maybe not. Do you know what where's this thing gone? Um add some more deco. Because why not? hide the bits that I don't like. Um, I've got two sheets in it. And last bit there. Nice! See, that's what I say. Stickers and washi hide a multitude of sins. Right, today's focus on Monday was new school. It was very painful for me on the Monday, um, dropping Keris off because she cried. I didn't like that. I don't like Keris crying, it makes me sad. Which I'm sure is the same for all mothers. But, um, right, the in laws are coming over, so on Thursday, tidy house. So I've got to remember TP is at new venue. I've also got some birthdays actually on here, so um, CHB, well that's good, there's three birthdays, so I'll do three birthdays. So those are all my big events for the week, I could put that in a different box if there are significantly more, I think I want to get a sticker for this. So my week in my passion panel, I need to explore what I can do with these sections. I don't really have habits that I want to track. 
that I'm not already doing elsewhere. And well, I could come up with some. I don't know. I'm going to have a think. If anyone's got any ideas, please leave them in the comments. In the meantime, I hope all your plans come true and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, sorry, I'm popping back on because I completely forgot to tell you guys about some more happy mail that I've received. I was so in love with the Planners in Crime paperclip that I remembered that Bet at uh, Creative Station in the UK over at Etsy has done me a paperclip before. She did this one for me ages ago and I really, really loved it. So I thought, you know what? I want some more. I like paperclips. So I got this one, which I may well order um, a few of for my colleagues for Christmas as like a little Christmas present, especially the head of English, who I found out yesterday is a keen bullet journaler herself. Kindred spirit there. And this to-do list one or to-do for my, um, it's gonna go on whichever day I need it on for my teacher journal. So that was going to go in my big planner and just had a bit of a confusion with this because I thought that I'd asked Bet to do a planner band for this but I had asked her to do one for each but I've only ordered one so she did me a B6 with not my logo on it but certainly my my name so I'm very very pleased with that as I say, I had a bit of confusion because I was trying to stretch it around this and then I was all of a sudden emailing her and I went back through our conversation and I was like, what did I do? And it turns out that I like wanted one for both, but as I say, I've only ordered one. So this was for my B6 and it fits perfectly. It's in my lovely dark grey that you guys know me for. Um, she said that she wasn't able to do my actual logo because my actual logo had about 87 different colours. So for her machine to do that, it would probably blow up. So um, we've just got a rainbow across Phoenix and everything else in dark grey, which is me to a T. So very, very happy, loving it, it's cute. I have actually, saying that, I did get the, so I did get the Simply Lettering calligraphy book, magazine even, um, mainly because it came with, pens and I've had a look at the pens and the pens are really really nice I've done a test now the reason why I'm doing this kind of hastily is my okay Keris is singing to the music it's all good um I did do a test did I do it in this one I think I did the grey is that the grey let's do it again just to be safe maybe not um so pen test on the scribbles that matter, it doesn't bleed through. I did have an incident where, I think it was with this one, I pulled the cap off and yeah, that happened again. So I pulled the cap off and the whole thing kind of exploded in my hand. Um, and one of them was, I think it was the blue one, or was it the green? It might have been the green. One of them was a little bit on the frayed side, but I can't work out which one it is now. Um, and the black one is very wet and doesn't smear, but the other ones do a bit. And so yeah, if, you, if you're a lefty like me, the chances are you're gonna end up going over it. Now, it doesn't smear on the scribbles that matter paper. I'm pretty sure it did, what paper did it? Yeah, so it smeared on my passion planner paper but I'm not really going to do fancy lettering in this anyway there seems to be another colour because those are all the colours and there's there it is there's a light pink one maybe it was the light pink that was frayed yeah it is a it is a little bit frayed um but it functions and the purple one looks a bit yeah the purple one is if you guys can see Come on, focus. So if you look, the, the pink, the dark pink one is a little bit frayed at the end. So, you know, I mean, they're free pens. And if you just do a bit of twisting, sometimes it can be okay. But you won't get perfect lines with that. And actually, if you 
aren't particularly careful putting it back, putting the cap back on, you'll end up dinking it again. So the caps are nice, they go on quite firmly and you can stack them as well. So that one goes on like that. I'm just trying to be careful so I don't make the pen explode again. And with this one, you put it in the other way around and it sits inside. So it's very, very, very cool. The colors are nice, basic, but nice. And obviously you've got your two complementary ones. The thing that, the thing that got me was the practice pack you have at the back. As you can see, I've done some practicing with it already with the pens that were provided. This is glossy paper. You can probably see the sheen on it. So it's, it's like leaflet paper. And it's got a nice, it's got a lovely selection of alphabets and practices and different bits and bobs that go with other parts of the magazine. But this paper is really not suitable for these pens in no way, shape or form. I would recommend if you wanted to use this to practice, you do it in something else, on something else. Um, Cause I did an A there and straight away it's smeared. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's some lovely things in it. Don't get me wrong, lovely things in it, but don't practice on the paper, do it in a book or something like that. Just to prove myself again. And, you know, for a left-handed person, I think I even tried doing it. Let's do it on... If I do it on the back. That will even happen with a a smudge page if you're quick. I know that that's unlikely, but this is not the kind of paper that you want to do brush pens with. Pick something else. But nice selection of pens. How much was the magazine? It was $7.99. And I, I do always think that the first issues tend to be cheaper. But this one wasn't. And my one apparently was exclusive to WH Smith, but I don't really see how that's possible because apparently they're everywhere. Unless you get more pens with WH Smith or something. I don't know. I didn't do enough research. I just saw it in Smith's and thought, hey, I wanted that and got it. The magazine itself, littered with advertising. Um, but one of the good things was that um, you could get the next three issues for six pounds, which is much cheaper. And the first, the second one comes with something to do with chalk lettering. Where are you? Um, yeah, so you get a, there it is. Um, so a simply lettering, that's what the magazine's called. So a white bullet tip chalkboard marker probably similar to Costco one. Well, I've got uni chalk markers in various colors. Um, so it might be similar to one of those. And a white gel pen for accents. But you know, you can get those from, you know, I've got, what's my one? Paper poetry. So, I think I've got that one from Hobbycraft. So yeah, so that is in the next um, magazine. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Cause you know, three issues for six pounds would be nice, but I'd have to remember to cancel it. And I'm not always good at remembering to cancel things. And then it's um, 12 pounds 46 every month. So not sure. I haven't obviously had a chance to practice yet. Oh, and they've got competitions as well. And then Craft Stash is the, is the place where they keep advertising things for hand lettering stuff. So it, they even claim to have bullet journals in there as well. So yeah, 
I've not heard of Craft Stash before. I'm certainly going to check them out. There's some nice bits in here. There's even a section on bullet journaling. Um, and yeah, Dovecroft planners as well are in there. Lots of lots of nice things to look at. I haven't had a chance to read it yet because I've been very, very busy. So that's it from me now. Definitely. Bye.